Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Witchy Mom here. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today I wanted to kind of go through some different herbs that we kind of have laying around the house, um, usually. And it's usually stuff that we cook with uh, that we have laying around the house. So a few things that I want to show you. I want to show you some herbs that you have around the house. <clears throat> if not all of these, I know you at least have a few. And kind of like what they can do or their meaning behind them. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is basil. Now, you usually have basils because you can make lots of soups with it, lots of stews. Um, and that is right here. Basil, my generic brand. And this is just something that you get in the herbs in your grocery store. Um, and it works just as good as you would growing it. Uh, your own or what have you. It's easier and it's a little bit cheaper. Um, basil is good for banishing. It's good for um, balance in your life. Um, it's good for business. Um, if you want to, if you need uh, maybe a little, maybe your business is slacking a little bit and you want a, a, like a little bump, um, this is good for, um, for business. And it's also good for clarity, um, to bring in clarity into your life. So this is basil. <clears throat> the next thing I want to do, now not everybody tends to have the flowers, but, um, and that's uh, chamomile, which is what we have in this jar here. And I've shown uh, chamomile in another um, video. And um, kind of looks like a little flower right here. I don't know if you can really see that well. Um, now if you don't have the flowers, um, you can substitute stuff, uh, I think from like maybe uh, chamomile tea. Um, if you wanna put like a baggie in your tub and kind of relax, I mean, it, it can work that way too, especially if it's caffeine free. Um, but chamomile is good for anxiety. I mean, I've talked about that too. You can put that in like different bath salts and, um, sorry, I'm trying to fix my camera, um, different bath salts or, um, <clears throat> excuse me, or, um, bath bombs, or you can even just, um, take a sock or, um, like a cheesecloth. And you can fill it with a bunch of different herbs, lavender, cam chamomile, different things, and kind of tie it at the top, double knot it or put a rubber band in there, and then take that sock or that cheesecloth and throw it in your tub, let it soak in there for about 10 minutes, as hot as the water can be, and then, because it'll cool down by the time you get in there, and then you get in there and it kind of does kind of what a tea bag does, and it lets the herbs and stuff seep into the the tub without having all the herby crusty stuff you know in there and get caught in your drain or just kind of make your you know tub messier so that works too <clears throat> but chamomile is good for anxiety it's good for creativity it's good for if you want um if you're trying to do dream work and um it's good for that maybe drink a little bit before you go to bed or make yourself a little um satchel that you put underneath of your pillow um, there's different ways that you can go about it but um, it's good for dream work it's also good for healing um, if you're feeling sick a lot of people like to take chamomile tea um, it's also good um, for justice if you had a court case and it didn't go your way or you're having an upcoming court case and you want something to go your way or of that fact, um, there's different use, different ways you can use chamomile uh, to use for justice. Um, but a lot of times it gets used for healing and anxiety and creativity. Um, <clears throat> so that's number two. Number three, I don't have on me right now because um, I ran out, but is dill. Now dill you can um, get, you know, like like in one of these, or you can get fresh dill. It's totally up to you. They work pretty much the same. Um, but dill is really good for defense, and that is, from what I understand, uh, defense overall. So physical, spiritual, 
I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, defense, it's good for love. If you're working, um, if you need, um, you know, a love spell. Or maybe you and your partner are just kind of in a slump and you need a little bit of oomph to it. It's good for that. Um, it's good for luck. If you, you know, maybe want to take a little deal and put it in your pocket when you go to Las Vegas or something, you know, you might do good. Um, and it's also good for money spells, um, bringing in money, using it for money spells. Um, the next thing is garlic. And I just ran out of garlic, too. I just used it all last night in my dish that I made. Um, but you can use garlic cloves, minced garlic, you could use uh, dry garlic, you can use um, the powder garlic, which is what gets commonly used for us because that's usually what we have a lot <clears throat> in common. But not only can you use uh, garlic for the things that I'm going to say, but garlic is really good for little tinctures that people make like um, um, like little oil tinctures with different herbs, like say you have an earache. Well, I know garlic is one thing that you can put in a tincture that kind of helps with earaches. Um, but garlic is good for communication. If you are lacking in communication or maybe you want to communicate with a, a spirit or uh, a, a god that you are praying to, um, it's good for protection. Now, the protection that it usually gets mostly used for is theft and travel like if you're out traveling and you know protection and that sort and it's also good for banishing uh you know think of vampires uh, i'm just kidding um but that's what garlic uh some common uses for garlic now all the herbs that i'm talking about have a lot of different things that they're used for i'm just naming a few i'm just naming kind of like the top the top um, uses but there's plenty of different uses for them there's plenty of different varieties uh, different ways to use them uh, the next is peppermint and I don't have any peppermint on me either but peppermint um, and again peppermint tea um, peppermint is good for awareness it's good for if you have a challenge and you want to get over this challenge it's good to add peppermint to whatever um, spell that you're working with um, and it's also good for change. If you are trying to um, do a, a road opener spell or you're just looking for, say you just got in a bad situation and you're trying to do change for the better, you know, this is something peppermint is good to add to those spells or um, workings. Not only that, but I like the way it smells. Um, the next thing is we have rosemary. Here it is. Um, I kind of like the way rosemary smells. It's really kind of fresh. I don't know. I just like it. Um, but this is usually common. I mean, again, with the basil, you have rosemary. goes good with some chicken and um, stews and all that sort. Uh, but rosemary is good for heartbreak. Um, if... You had someone pass away that you loved um, <clears throat> if you just got broken up with or things of that nature um, this is something really good um, to add to a spell or to use um, if you kind of think about it I mean in my the way my wheels turn is it's good for cooking uh, a lot of recipes calls for rosemary. And if you think about it, most of those are kind of comfort foods. Um, so if you kind of look at rosemary using in a lot of comfort foods, I mean, there's kind of your key right there, like comfort. Um, it's also good for increasing your intuition. If you want to work on your inner intuition and kind of work on that, this is something good to use. Um, this is also good for protection. Now, as Garlic had protection for theft and for and travel. Rosemary is good for psychic or spiritual protection. Um, so if you make yourself a witch's bottle, uh, um, which I'll eventually do and show you guys. Um, but if you make a witch's bottle or a witch's ball, um, and you want to use something, you want to make a protection one for spiritual and psychic, rosemary is something that you definitely want to add to that. 
The next one we have is time. I know most people have time. Here it is. In all its glory. Time is really good for grief. For, for grief. Oh my goodness. For grief. Um, it's good for growth. Uh, gr you want to grow as a person. Um, maybe you've had some, um, made some bad choices in your life. And you're looking to to grow into a new you for change. I mean, you could add um, you could add the time for growth, and then you could add um, and then you could add peppermint to a satchel. And peppermint's good for change, or good for change, and time is good for growth. So. And it's also good for awakening the mind. Now, this is something for people who are doing um, meditation, meditation work, um, or third eye work. Um, and you kind of want to awaken your third eye and you kind of want to do um, some astral travel or things of that nature. Um, I believe this would be something to be good for that. Now, the very last thing I have... Now, we, we, we usually have some sort of this herb laying around, and that is cinnamon. Now, in here, I have cinnamon sticks, but you can have uh, the cinnamon powder that you would put, like, to make French toast. That works. Um, but this is just what I had laying around. I also have the powder, but I have this right in here with our herbs. Um, and cinnamon not only smells good, but it also is good for attraction. So say you want to do, um, um, now attraction can be different things. You want to attract money. You want to attract a lover. You want to attract um, um, luck. You know, it can work different many ways. So it really depends on what you're looking for. Um, but attraction is one thing that it can be used for. Defense. Um, if you are, you know, this would be something good to put in a protection. And since it's defense, it could go into um, any kind of protection spell. I, I mean, I believe. <clears throat> I mean, I would. Um, it's good to help with desire. Maybe trying to find out what you did. Now, that, now, when you say desire, a lot of people think, oh, you know, you know, love spells and, you know, that kind of thing. But desire can mean a lot of different things. You, you know, it can mean your, your desire to find a job, your desire to, to grow, your desire to do a lot of different things. Not just anything, you know, not just love. Um, but this is good for that. And, and then again, dream work. Again, it, chamomile and cinnamon, they both help with dream work. And it just smells really good. Um... It just makes your house smell good. If you ever, like in the winter time, and you don't want to use your <clears throat> wax burning um, thing, your wax burning uh, pot or light a candle, you can always take a little pot of boiling water and then stick one or two sticks in there and have it kind of simmer a little bit. I mean, and it will just, per you know, it will just make your room smell wonderful. So those are just some common things. Now that I'm sure there's plenty of other things, um, but I just wanted to have like the top 10 um, that we kind of use a lot um, and show you some of those things. And like I said, I didn't have any dill and I didn't have any garlic or peppermint at this time. Um, but those are some things that you could use uh, to every day. Um, in your cooking, when you, when you cook, you don't necessarily think about the kind of herbs and kind of what they mean. It's kind of just like, oh, they're just used for cooking. But if you really look at it, like rosemary and comfort food, um, it's kind of like, wow, that's kind of weird, you know? Um, but they have a lot of different aspects. They have a lot of different meaning and a lot of different uses. So I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching me. Subscribe. Um, I think the next video that I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some of the th household items that I love that I'm trying to implement in my new orga organizing thing. I didn't forget. I probably thought I forgot. I didn't. Um, my new organizing kick that I'm on. My house kind of got really wrecked since I have been sick. I'm getting over tonsillitis. Um, 
and a stuffy kind of nose thing. I'm on antibiotics. So my voice kind of sounds like, like a sex phone operator. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm getting over it. I'm, I'm hopefully will be kicking it by next week. And if you notice my eyebrows, now I am not a makeup person and this is totally off topic, but um, when I was in school, it was literally so simple to do makeup. You had mascara, eyeliner, and maybe some eyeshadow. Now, usually when you did eyeshadow, it was all one color. It's not this whole put in your crease, you have this color, and then you have the highlight around your brow bone. It was none of that stuff. And maybe some chapstick or some lip gloss. And if you were really into makeup, you wore foundation. Uh, but, but that was pretty much it. Now it's like you got to contour and you got to have the highlight and you got to have the filled in eyebrows and you got to have like the 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 eyes that just are like smoky and all that stuff it is crazy the kind of stuff that they do like just for everyday makeup it's kind of like whoa um so I am trying my best to try to like kick my makeup stuff up a notch so I tried to do my eyebrows before I got on the camera and now that I realize like this one is okay and this one looks like when I do this, this right here tends to be higher. So I think this eyebrow, like I made higher than this one. And I know they're not supposed to be twins. They're supposed to be sisters, so they say. But I don't even think mine are related. I don't think, maybe they're stepsisters. Like, you know, I don't know. But I don't know. So I don't know. I'm going to have to work with it. But don't judge me. I'm trying. Uh, maybe one day I'll have a get ready with me and you can see how horrible I am at putting makeup on anymore. Um, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, so thanks for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye bye.